Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the convolution between e power minus 3t u of t and u of t plus 3. So as we know the convolution integral x1 of t convolution x2 of t we can write it as integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau and <coughs> x2 of t minus tau into d tau. So first we have to express the given first signal as x1 of tau and the second signal as x2 of t minus tau. So x1 of tau so in x1 of tau, wherever we have tau, we have to wherever we have t, we have to replace with tau. So e power minus 3 tau. And this second signal, x2 of t minus tau. So in this case, wherever we have t, we have to replace with t minus tau. So u of t minus tau plus 3. So now if we substitute in the formula x1 of t convolution x1 of t convolution x2 of t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau means e power minus 3 tau so here we have u of tau e power minus 3 tau into u of tau and x2 of t minus tau is u of t minus tau plus 3 d tau. So here we have the product of u of tau into u of t minus tau plus 3. So we have to find first the value of for which value of tau the product of u of tau and u of t minus tau plus 3 is 1. So first u of tau, u of tau is 1 for tau greater than or equal to 0 whereas u of t minus tau plus 3 is 1 for, for t minus tau plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 greater than or equal to 0 or we can write it as if we send the tau to the other side t plus 3 greater than or equal to tau or <coughs> we can write it as tau less than or equal to t plus 3 so that means that means u of t minus tau plus 3 is 1 for tau less than or equal to t plus 3. So in order to find for which values of t both the signals are 1. So we have to draw both the signals on the tau axis. So u of tau as you see u of tau is 1, u of tau is 1 for all the values of tau greater than or equal to 0, tau greater than or equal to 0. So u of tau is 1, so this is u of tau, this is u of tau for all the values of tau greater than 0, for all the values of tau greater than 0 so this is simply 1 this is simply 1 now if you take the other signal if you take the other signal so for example if you take t plus 3 somewhere here on the tau axis so u of t minus tau plus 3 is 1 for all the values of tau less than or equal to t plus 3 so that means so it will start from here for all the values of tau less than t plus 3 so this signal is 1 this signal 
is 1 for all the values of tau less than for all the values of tau less than t plus 3 so this signal is 1 so the red one indicates u of p minus tau plus 3 now if you observe the common area between are both the signals are 1 only between 0 to t plus 3 both the signals are 1 only between 0 to t plus 3 so you can write the product you can write the product u of u of tau into u of t minus tau plus 3 is 1 for 0 less than or equal to tau less than or equal to t plus 3. So if you substitute this result in the integral, if you substitute this result in the integral, so that integration is now between 0 to t plus 3 e power minus 3 tau d tau. So which is nothing but so e power minus 3 tau integration is simply e power minus 3 tau by minus 3 between the limits 0 to t plus 3. Right? So if you substitute the upper limit, if you substitute the upper limit, it is e power minus 3 into t plus 3 minus lower limit is e power minus 3 into 0 by minus 3. So e power 0 is 1. So if you send this minus sign inside, we can write this result as 1 minus e power minus 3 into t plus 3 by 3. So the convolution between e power minus 3t u of t and u of t plus 3 is 1 minus e power minus 3 plus t by 3. Right? So this is the final result. This is the final result. So I hope everyone is understand. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.